Welcome back, Wander. It's guys, the Wander, and we are back on playing Hoven. Oh, here's your dawn, and um, this is gonna be a double upload today. So yeah, because mainly again, because I missed Monday, and again, I'm sorry about that for anyone who is watching this series. And again, if you are watching this series, thank you very much. It means the world to me. But other than that, let's just keep on going. There's your proof. Read the. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but... Somehow, Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses, too. Like, looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found. And wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. Oh, we're gonna help him, right? I feel like we're gonna help him. Yeah, okay. The Fallen Field, so yeah. I'm gonna just help him. The <laughs> Yeesh. That is, that is a lot. <laughs> But we'll just help him out because, you know, I want to help him out. So, yeah, I don't really want to be a complete douchebag. And that is so far away, man. This place. Um, do you have anything that I can buy? No, you seem to just be completely and utterly useless to me. Okay, I want a better merchant. I don't want a special merchant. I just want a normal merchant. You guys not have normal merchants? Why do you guys not have normal merchants? You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. Come oh, well. on back if you find any Banu. You there, Outlander? Do you have yeah, okay. to trade? So, um, alright, that was alright. Where's the normal one? Here's the normal one. I'm <laughs> like, where's the normal one? Oh, well. Um, holy shiza. That's so far away. I don't even, I can't, I can't even, um. No, let me fast travel. Can I not fast travel here? Yeah, no, I can't fast travel there. Uh, I think fast traveling here would be better. So, yeah. But that is far. I think I might have to get the, uh, the tower again. You know, grab the tower. Oh, difficulty, activity, then enemies can be found in that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unlock the least side, silently take down heavy and late enemies without being detected. Without being, they say without being detected. But you still get detected because apparently you are not stealth while you're killing someone. Which is a bit annoying, not gonna lie. It's like, okay, why is this thing really? I just need a. I'm just gonna take one of you as my slaves again because you people are nice, fine votes. And besides, you probably don't mind, anyways. I don't think you would mind. Come on now. I 
Thank you. I'm like down. You have no reason to fight. Oh my god. Go! <laughs> I'm like, go! Please, thank you. I didn't want to hit you, man. Did not want to hit you. Alright, let's keep going now. We got by light, and that's all that matters now. Now, it should be, uh, smooth costumes. But yeah, again, anyone, again, I, I can't really, I won't, I won't really stop beating this. But thank you for watching my videos like always, but yeah, we will keep on going. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's a bit, um, you know, a bit funny. I wouldn't say funny, but it's definitely interesting how, like, the focus plays a part into this. A focus, something that, you know, helps control the machine, just see the machine type of ordeal. Because of just how old and natured it was, but yeah, pretty much. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. No. <laughs> I will help you, um, not today. <laughs> Maybe another day, but not today. I'm just, honestly, I do not care, and I'm going straight to the red cross. Obviously finding some... Are those just bandits? Yeah, those are just bandits. Yeah, alright. They're bandits that I can get. Oh, gosh. Keep on going. Keep on going. There's just bandits surrounding here, man. Why are you bandits just running around in, like, the desert? Like, doing nothing? Uh, I guess that doesn't matter. Looking forward to this. But are you two looking forward to this? Ugh, why, Aaron? override you right. don't kill it you're gonna kill it on too well I really don't want to kill you but it seems like I have to I can't I can't do it that wasn't a warning Glad that's over with. Thanks for the help. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Want to see what you have, though. Obviously, some more scraps. Come on over what here and have a word. What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry, I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Do I need to... What happened? Not Tell me exactly ask. what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some Shadow Karja cowards. It was an ambush. The Shadow Karja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Erend. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, 
They'll be sorry too. Why she laughs out of Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us, and Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so no. <laughs> I feel that. Well, no, I'm glad you're thinking straight at least. Don't get used to it. <laughs> I'm usually don't drunk. Have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new shadow card threat, I don't know. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Uh, oh, I'm like, that's my own thing. Alright, I'll just have it follow me. Yeah, yeet. What are you doing? <laughs> don't don't mind the blockhead, alright? It's it, it's quite harmless, trust me. <laughs> I'm too tired to walk, man. I don't wanna walk, man. I'm just gonna let my blood horse walk for me. You're walking extremely slow though, just saying. I would like uh could could you pick up the paper? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. You gonna start jogging for me, buddy? Yeah, stop jogging for me. Thank you. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. In the cliffs, wherever the cliffs are, which again, I have no idea where the cliffs are. Because, you know, I still I don't know this map. I don't think I even knew the uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey map, honestly. It kind of sooner or later looked all the same. Hey, this is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. See? Car tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Alright, let's keep going. Follow the cart track, see ya ye. Like I know the cart didn't take just a conventional route, I should remind you. They take a they took a very well okay here are the here are the conventional routes. Really? Your men didn't see these cart tracks? They just completely ignored these cart tracks? Seems a bit weird if you ask me if if your men didn't see this. Now nah, I'm seeing the cart for kind of loud. It'd be again a bit sad if your men didn't see this, and you and it just like this isn't this isn't even an unseen path. So this is actually not an unseen path. This is a Why very Why fake an ambush? There's more to this, and we're gonna figure it out. But these are not unseen traps. These are clearly visible cart marks for crying out loud. They're not that hard to find for crying out loud. But... Whatever this is, another journal, I'll take it. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Okay. Hey, I love this man. I'm like, you're gonna use that, uh, bow of yours? Oh god, where did you come from?
Imagine not having a one-shot headshot, am I right? Oh well. That wasn't a headshot, but oh well. You're dead. And stop moving your head. Thank you. I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Oh wow, that's a great. Sawtooth. No, Javenger. Oh, this is different from Sawtooth. Oh come on, how the heck did it see me? Oh, I have two of them. Better be weak to fire. If you're not, then I'm dead. Ugh. Such a pain, man. Oh, come on. What the heck was hitting me that time? Oh, my God. Where's like my friend? Like actually though, where's where's the other person that's supposed to be helping me? Oh my god, no. Why would you just die for me, would ya? Just die for me. Alright. The unconscious. Oh, I be unconscious. Yeah, well. Surrender. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Can I, can I loot the body, please? Like, I really want to loot these ravages, thank you very much. I could care less about the other people, I just want these ravages. Alright. So much blood. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. A lot of people died here. A massacre. Those rocks. They're shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never <coughs> seen before. Ah, uh, that's just him. These look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. Yeah, just normal Aaron, poor Aaron, man. I check the bits of leather. So, what else? I mean, this is probably Looks the like only you one. Could mount some equipment on that thing. Yeet. There, by the tripod. Used power cell. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. All right. This is Ursus helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery for what? Feels like it's just a torture me. I have a theory, but it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. 
I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. Then why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough. So it could have been anyone. Even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Hey! Some small little bit of hope for him. That's not that far, actually. If I had, if I still had my bot head, I might do that. Uh, yeah, me uh, at the Sun Palace, which honestly isn't that far, but I believe we can just, um, yeah, we can just do this. That's a, that's a bit away, but oh well. We'll travel, use that. There's a reason why I got these. There's a reason why I bought some, because you can buy these. Thank gosh you can buy them. Them, it makes it easier on like people like me, pretty much, to that just want to basically fast travel. Like in 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 this type of circumstance, it's better for me to fast travel, so I'm not wasting too much of your guys' times, which is always nice. But again, if any of you are actually watching and even getting this far, which I highly I don't think anyone gets this far in my videos, but if you do. Thank you for watching my videos. My videos are kind of mainly just honestly, just to like, you're playing a different video game for you just to like, to, to glance at it. And that's about it. And maybe just, uh, I know my voice is not the best recognizable voice. It's like, like you, you, you definitely have heard more clearer voices and more, you know, fluid voices. I, I will definitely not disagree with anyone on that one. <laughs> Because, uh, my voice sucks. Let's get that straight. Uh, where do we need to go? Alright. Not that far. 200 more. One fast travel pack removed. Oh, well. You there. How can you help me? There's so many things here. Okay, like there we go. I like it how they all just do that. It's like, ah, th this person comes by. Yeah, yeet. Let's keep a going. Don't look to me for help. Uh, can I not get you? Fourteen kings have sat on the throne in Meridian. Where else can say as much? Alright, we got that. Alright, and um... What? Okay. Apparently it's got father. A lot of bridges though, not bad. Not bad at all. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Um... Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Blameless. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. Yeah. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. Mr. Oseram get special treatment, and now outlanders from the savage interest could the Sun King have in her? Pass unacceptable. I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. 
Oof. <laughs> Oof, man. I slightly Ignore feel them. bad. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Fair enough, I guess. Yeah, all right. Don't forget see that spoiled brat is always annoying. The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. The spoiled brat you're annoying to deal with, let me tell you. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Errand, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osara. A war war. Possible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osara had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osaram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. <laughs> Nora be like, hold up, Alan be like. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. You and Ursa? It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Osaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. Oof. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Oh god, this is alright. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem... very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too. 
But I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. Oof. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. All right. I need to get going. I know. <laughs> well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. Alrighty then, with that though guys, we will end it off here. If you want to become a new wanderer, subscribe down below, but other than that, I will see you in the next one.